up? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another review. Busting them out today. This review will be on the Assault Kingdom Mobile Suit Gundam Wave 8. This is I'm going to be doing in the next few days uh, the Star Build Strike Gundam, the Build Burning Gundam, the Rick Dom Gundam, and the Master Gundam. Starting off, we're going to be starting off with the Star Build Strike Gundam. Right. Looking at the packaging. Pretty cool. These are Gashapons from Japan. I believe they're pretty cheap in Japan. Even their photography on the smaller uh, basically gumball machine boxes are better than the photography from Hasbro. But it comes with a nice little box and inside the box you get a bag and you get a piece of gum slash candy and if you see it says Bandai made in Japan. I'm not going to be eating the gum. Save it as a collector's tool. Then you get the bag and you can unwrap it basically. Um, Tape together right here, here, and here. And then it's basically just bags that are uh, that are pleated down the middle in, the, in between each accessory. So you're able to slide it up, but not push it over. That's, which is kind of cool. This is part one of the stand. Then we have part two of the stand. Then we have the actual figure. We have his hands next. We have his weapons coming up next. And some extra accessories. Now keep in mind there's not really any instructions, so and I'm not I did bring um as you can see over in the corner, I brought my uh, unicorn Gundam destroy mode as comparison. We'll keep him out of the way for now. Um, this is the Star Build Strike Gundam from the Build Fighter series. Comes with these little hands. See that? Little hands. It's got fisted hands and a couple of open splayed hands. And they're on a, basically just a peg, um, a sprue, I mean. Um, We'll put on some fisted hands so you can just break off the pieces like so, making sure there's no extra sprue parts on it. Let's chip those off a little bit. And then you attach them into the figure like so. And like that, basically. And this is the figure. This is my uh, first set of these. I think I paid $20 for all four of them, which is a wicked good deal, I thought. Looking at the details, it's got nice paint apps, red shoulders. He's got blue painted chest, red, red details in his chest, and his upper shoulders. He's got a nice orange painted, uh, uh, what do you call it, V-fin, or this one looks more like a W, but... <laughs> Got some painted details in his eyes, even. Very small details. Red chin, blue knees, some black borders. Um, looking at the posability, his arms will go up and around like that. He's got it. His arms move out like so, hinge on the shoulders. A small, limited ball joint type deal. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a, I don't know if that's single joint. Yeah, a single jointed elbow that goes up about that far. You can spin his wrist because they just peg right in. No ball joint, but no ab crunch or anything. He can turn his head left to right and he can look up about 
up and down about 10 degrees. Really not at all. He's got these Gundam flaps, but they're not on hinges, it looks like. They're just pegged in or something, and they're rubbery, so they would give you uh, room to put his legs up. His legs will go up at least that far. I think he can get up a farther if you bend the knees. His knees bend that far. It's pretty good. And his ankles will rock down and up. There's no... Oh, no, there is ankle tilts. That's very nice. <laughs> he also has a, vice, or a thigh swivel, which is cool. Actually didn't expect that. And it doesn't seem... Oh, there's a little bit of waist swivel, but there doesn't seem like there's any kind of ab crunch or anything like that. So it seems like one, two, three, four, five, so ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18 points of articulation, if I'm counting correctly. It looks like the, his his shoulders kind of just snap right in on the top through that peg. All right, now moving right along. He seems to stand okay, but he does come with a stand. Very cool figures for being $5. Him better that way. All right, cool. Uh, he comes with a weapon. It's nice, to, uh, nice blaster here. Beam gun, I guess is what they call them. Some of them. Nice beam gun. Um, I love how he's got ankle tilts. It's really cool. Putting his stand together, he would just take this. I mean, I'm going by guessing. Uh, maybe pop it in like that, probably. And then I would guess something like this. And then it looks like in the back there's a hole, as you can see. And you just plug it in, and then you got your flight pose, which is pretty cool. Put his feet down, make it look like he's coming up at you. Um, all right. Uh, some of the other accessories he has, it looks like these are on a sprue too. Is some, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what those are, but I do see a shield. Looks like it needs to be painted. But clips on the side of his arm like that and he's got his beam saber that he can hold in this arm uncolored of course but still cool nonetheless and it looks like this is his backpack I guess this is just to build his star build strike type deal so what I think you do is you would pop these off the sprue. And let's just try to see if we can do this without making too much of a... I'm about to build the um, Optimus Prime D-Style from Kota Picua. So I'm excited. I'll be popping things off sprues then. I got my little kit out then, but I don't have my kit right now. But if needed, I will... I'll be able to. I think these pop in there like this or something. That would make sense. I'm not exactly sure what they expect out of this. Or what this is. But, um, if anyone has any comments, to let me know what I'm doing wrong. I'll probably check it out more or less, but this seems completely wrong. <laughs> But I do remember he had some kind of thing like that get up. Um, that's my review, guys. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Got lots more coming. Peace.